Hey there everybody, this is I run I'm back in Vintage Story for some more of the Desert Challenge. I am here at my base, which I feel I can now finally refer to as a base. Ugh, get up here. Um, I have finally constructed an actual building. Now, I still have a few days left before the monsters start appearing, and uh, I have done some more testing in uh, another world in this version. And uh, the drifters do still attack you. You have to get fairly close to them before they'll attack you, but they do still attack you. I don't know if that's intended behavior or not. I'm going to assume that it is intended behavior. Um, they are monsters, after all. Um, but uh, I have been hard at work, as you can see. I have done a whole bunch of metal stuff. We got I've got my copper pickaxe. And, oh, I've got all this mess. I need to make some storage. So I decided... Um, I could make some more clay vessels, of course, but clay, even though I've got a bunch of stacks of clay here, clay is still a limited, finite resource, right? We can't renew clay. And once I dig up all the clay in this area, that's it. Like, I'm gonna have to go, I don't know how far, to find some more clay. So, can we just, actually, can we just take a moment and just appreciate this sky? Look at the sky! Look at the sky in this game, folks. It's so gorgeous. And let's also take, come back here, take a look at the little structure I've built. So... This is very simple, very simple. I went and I just kind of uh, disassembled some of the other ruins that I found because in this game, we're not about archeology. span I am gonna move the campfire as well. It's not gonna be smoking here all the time. Uh, we're not about archeology span in this one. We're not about worrying about the people who used to live here. No, we're just about surviving. So what I did is I, <sighs> I put a ladder up here. Now I can reach this, but drifters won't be able to. And I put my bed up here, and I will build some walls up here, and I'll move some storage up here, and uh, move the campfire up here and stuff. For now, I'm still perfectly safe down here. I do have my two vessels in here. I've got a couple of copper ingots that are still soft, so I'm waiting for them to harden up. And I have come down here and dug out an area for a cellar, so we can keep our food down here. But first, I need a door, otherwise the cellar won't be closed off. I could close it off with dirt or whatever, but I prefer to wait until I have a door. Um, I did finish the uh, charcoal, by the way, but I haven't dug it up yet because I found some lignite while I was out and I've been using that as fuel. So I made a hammer, I made a pick, and I did, in fact, I did come over here. Come with me, follow me, friends. We're going this way. Just come, come, come with me. Uh, here we go. This is where I planted my seeds and I made my hair trap. And as you can see, we've already got believe, I don't know how well this is going to show up on YouTube, we got four hairs there, and a baby. Or three grown-ups and a baby, perhaps? They're very afraid of me, and with good reason. I am eventually going to murder them for food, but they tried to steal my food. And so that is their own fault, I do believe. Uh, I still got the one up here. Actually, I think the ones. I think there were two hairs in this little, yeah, there's two hairs in there. So, uh, when I am running low on berries, which will happen eventually, I'm sure, because it's going to be a while before any of those berries that I picked grow back, um, I will be able to get some meat out of them just to survive. I, I would prefer not to have to murder the animals for food, but you know, can I pick these up yet? Not yet. They're, they're only 450 degrees. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, so what I need to do actually, I need to make one of these babies right here, a forge. Stick that, I'll just stick that right there. Oh, I also made a, a backup pick. So we're doing well so far. I have not made molds for other tools yet. I will have to do that eventually. Uh, but while copper is going to be plentiful, clay is still, as I said, a very finite resource. So I want to be careful and not make stuff out of clay that I don't have to. The two vessels I made is really all I'm willing to, to part with for now. So right now I'm waiting for these ingots to get cool enough that I can smelt them, basically. So in the meantime, let's come over here. Let's dig up our charcoal, see what we got. What we got? Doing all right. Oh, I love how fast. I love that sound. Listen. Oh, it's good. Duka, 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 duka. Such a good sound. There we go. Pick up all that. How much do we get? 23. That's plenty. Now, in the base game without any tweaks, y you need quite a lot of charcoal to do anything, but I did go in and... Did I double or I might even have quadrupled the burn time of these things? Because the grind of cons constantly getting firewood and constantly making charcoal and all that, it just doesn't interest me. Still can't pick these up. I can handle 250 degrees on my hands, right? That's easy. That's no problem. 
Um, so I suppose I can disassemble this right here, because I'm not going to be using this now, and it is a bit of an eyesore. And we want our area to be nice and beautiful. Because other, other than this, it is quite beautiful here. And we'll just, like, take this back down. And that's all set. I have tons of dirt now, by the way. Tons and tons of dirt. I have stacks of dirt in vessels that I've put away. Uh, which I, I, I basically, I went exploring. Let's see, did I, did I make, mark it anyway? I did. I went north. So I marked some new waypoints. I found some lignite there. So I picked up the bits that were on the ground, but I didn't mine up what was underground. I still need to do that. Um, I didn't have a pick yet, so I couldn't. We've got copper, 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 copper all over the place. We've got lead there. Lead, copper, 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 and multiple ruins. Right here, there was an area with a lot of ruins. I dug up the dirt, but there was some stone in there, and I'm not sure if there's any uh, of the vessels, the loot vessels, underneath. So I may go back with my pick and just dig them up just to check. Because I still, I still, the only seeds that I have are those, uh, those cabbages. And as much as I love cabbage, and my friends, I do love cabbage. This is, this is a fun little Ira fact for you. Some of you may not be aware of this. Ira loves cabbage. Oh, they're making more babies. Good, I think they are breeding down there. That's awesome. I wasn't sure if they would actually breed. Or if the babies just kind of spawn randomly. But it looks like they do breed. That's spectacular. We can, like, keep our own little herd of hares down there. Uh, yeah, I know I genuinely, in the in the real world, in real life, out in meat space, away from video games, I love cabbage. Oh, four days left before Majas appear, okay. Well, let's stick this in there. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to take my, my, uh, torch there. There we go, that's lit. That's lit. I'm gonna grab my hammer. And, yeah, we'll wait for those to heat up, and then we're gonna make a saw so that we can make uh, planks, which we can use to make chests. It's not, uh, the planks have been changed in this version, which I, I think it's in a, in a good way. We, when we saw logs, we get these sort of single, singular plank items, which we can use to make plank blocks. Or, um, or any other type of wood-based item. And I don't think it makes the game any dif more difficult or easier, it just, it's just a difference. It's just different. It's a little bit more immersive. Did I put one? I only put one coal in there. Oh, dang it. We gotta light that back up before they cool back off. <laughs> you know better, Ira. You know better. I still only put one in there. I think it'll get hot enough here with just the one more charcoal. I have to remember that for the future. It does need two pieces of charcoal. I think that has been nerfed a bit. Because I think previously I was able to do it with just one piece. Oh, I'm not sure how hot this is going to get before the charcoal runs out. I'm not sure how hot it needs to be in order to work it on the anvil. But I guess we're going to find out. I think this has got to be hot enough. I mean, they're turning like white hot now, so that's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be good. So wait until the charcoal burns off. Yeah, it's over a thousand degrees. We're good. We're good. Okay, so first up, we... As a matter of top priority, we need a saw blade. So, for those of you who may be new, hi, welcome. <laughs> oh, let's love to have new people here. Um, this is how we do smithing, metal smithing, metal working in this game. Now, I do have a problem with the tool tips because sometimes they obscure what's there. I would prefer if the tool tips would go away after a certain amount of time, so that you can see what you're doing. That would be preferable. Or to have an option to disable them, I guess. Maybe there is an option, actually, to be fair. I haven't checked. I should check in the settings and see if there is such an option. Let's get this sorted. There we go. So now we can make chests and doors and stuff. Uh, we've got one more. What else can we make? And we want to make something that can't be made in a mold. Possibly a spear or maybe some shears. Shears are often the, the next thing that I make. Because uh, shears will allow us to get more saplings from the trees, and especially given the arid desert nature of this place. Kablunk. Uh, we want to we wanna be careful with our trees. We want to make sure we get plenty of saplings, and we're going to want lots of sticks. It also just saves time, because it takes longer to cut down a tree with a lot of leaves than it does a tree which is just bare wood, which is, frankly, very silly. But that's just the way it is. I don't make the rules. Okay. Got our saw. Oh, we got our saw. That's a huge step forward. We can go hang up 
our hammer. And I think we're gonna wanna, wanna make, oh, we don't have enough sticks. We don't have enough sticks to make another tool rack. Okay, well, do I have some wood? I do. Let's go ahead and make some planks. And let's make a chest. Oh, this is a huge step forward. It really, truly is. Um, toss some of the... Actually, let's toss the sand. Sand is the thing I think we need the least. I'm going to go ahead and put this... Oh, jump up. I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. And now we can stick all our clay in there. We can stick all this extra stuff in here that we don't need right now. I will sort it out more carefully later. But for now, I'm satisfied with this. Should probably go ahead and, and get some more sticks, actually. So we don't have enough sticks to make another tool rack. <laughs> That's not great. Uh, let's also, let's take those planks back out. I'm still using those. Excuse me, Ira, I am still using those. And take this door, and stick that on the cellar. This is, this is a big step forward. Put that on the cellar, and then we'll go dig up our, um, our vessels here. And we can move them downstairs. Now this is a fun thing. Because I have carry capacity, which is a mod, installed, and if you are playing Vintage Story and you don't have carry capacity installed, you need to get yourself some carry capacity. It is a spectacular mod. Uh, I believe it is made by Copy Girl, who did just the best job. Such a simple concept makes such a difference, and it's well-coded, it's got like, you do go slower when you're carrying something. I need to make some more torches, actually. All right, so what do we have in here that is not food? Quite a lot, as a matter of fact. And my inventory is full, okay. I'm gonna devote these vessels just to food now. And now that we have this chest, and we can make more chests as well, we'll just stick everything that isn't food up here. Uh, yeah, let's make another one. We need another one, we've got plenty of planks. Plenty of planks, and there's plenty of trees around if we need more wood. So that's not a big deal at all. And a couple arc. We're done. We're all set. There was more down there that we needed to grab, though, right? Okay. Take that out of here. And, oh yeah, we still got more. And we can take the seeds out of here. I'll leave the halite for now, just because it is food-related. I did mine up some halite uh, in uh, one, of the, one of the ruins that I dug up. Actually turned out to be really big once I started, like... Digging up the stone underneath it and stuff. It turned out to be this massive ruin. Almost nothing of use in it. But it's still pretty cool. I'll put the seeds up there for now. I'll just, yeah, I'm not, I'll, I'll work on inventory sorting a bit more later. But I think everything that's in here now should be food. So this one's empty. We've got plenty of space. Uh, three and a half days, and you see how much longer this stuff will last. Now, the grain was never in danger. The grain will last for years, but these berries would normally perish in about a day, and now they'll last for several days, which is a hugely important thing. I only get six hours out of these two that I have left, but I will eat them within six hours, so that's actually fine. Um, so the next question is, do I want to take all of the smithing stuff and move it up here? I may hold off on that. I will probably expand this outwards, and like, uh... Uh, build sort of a wider platform and then make another story on it and things like that So I can do that later for now night is nearly over and We're doing really well my friends. I have to say I'm doing really well in terms of not starving to death I really thought that I would at least My hunger would at least decrease to to zero and I would start taking some hunger damage That has not happened I have been doing remarkably well. We got super lucky finding this little oasis uh, and finding some berry bushes here. However, the next thing that I really do want is seeds, right? I need seeds. I need some sticks so that I can make some more uh, tool racks. This is also a priority. Secondary priority. Look at all these. Just got this huge pine bush here. How are we doing? 12. It's not a lot. It's enough for what I want right now, but it's not a lot. Can we just... Can we maybe get some more? Get plenty of saplings. Remember before when I couldn't get any saplings? In episode 1? I think it was episode 1. Couldn't get any saplings, no matter what I did. Now I got too many saplings. We'll plant them. I think I have set the tree growth time... Oh! Take those. Yes, I will. Awesome. Those will go in the basement, in the cellar. Hooray! 
I'm making use of that cellar already. Okay, how are we doing now? 15. Again, not great. It's something, but it's not... It's not a lot. We got maple here. And all the different types of trees. We are going to need oak at some point. Um, in the other world that I've been playing, my, my uh, humid world, <laughs> with the very high humidity, completely the opposite of this one. Might as well take these logs, right? Might as well. Um, I have gotten to a point where I'm doing leatherworking now. They do have proper leatherworking in the game now. So you don't just take a skin off of an animal and make something out of it. You now have to tan the leather, which takes some time and it takes tannin. To put tannin in a barrel, uh, you do require specifically oak wood. Now, I do not know anything about real life leatherworking. I don't know if it actually requires specifically oak wood to make tannin. Uh, maybe some of you in, in, the, in the comments, maybe some of you who are watching this will know more than me. I would actually be genuinely very interested. I will probably not remember to look it up. <laughs> but if one of you wants to leave a comment and be like, yes, actually, you do need oak specifically for this reason. Uh, or if you want to say, no, you don't need oak specifically. They're full of it. They're just trying to make the game harder. I don't know. I don't know. I need you to tell me. Uh, let's go and put put down the red currant bars. We'll put the red currant berries in the basement. This is like the most excited I've ever been. Finding berries in this game. I have to say, I really love the new world generation options. At first, I loved them specifically uh, because they, I, I could make the game easier without having to go in and mod the files. Uh, but now I, I'm realizing that I also really like this type of challenge. I don't like the combat sort of challenge, the danger sort of challenge, where something's trying to kill me. Whoop, goodness, I just bumped into my microphone. Excuse me for the bump, friends. Um, I don't like that. It just gives me anxiety. It makes me nervous. It makes me stressed. And I don't have fun. It makes the game less fun to me. However, on the other hand, it doesn't mean I don't like challenge. It doesn't mean I want the game to just be super easy. And in my experience, that's often what happens when a game developer's like, oh, this person doesn't want combat, that means they want the game to be easier. So I'll just put in an easy mode. So, no, I, I'm not looking for the game to be easier, necessarily. I just don't specifically don't want combat, right? So when somebody puts in options like this, where I can add my own challenge, and the challenge is, can I find enough food to literally to not die? Uh, that's very exciting to me. And I'm having so much fun, and I'm, I'm, f I'm feeling more engaged with the game than I usually do. Because I have a challenge, but the challenge is something that I am not literally afraid of <laughs> uh, in the real world. So, yeah. Um, big, big thank you to the developers for that. How long is this going to last here? 21 hours. Alright, that'll be plenty. Um, I'm really enjoying this challenge. Anyway, I have explored to the north, directly to the north, well, slightly to the northwest. Let's head, well, let's head, let's head northwest. I am finding a lot of good stuff so far heading in these directions. I want to keep, I want to fill in uh, all these areas that don't have any dots on them on the map. Do I have everything I need? I have a bit of food. I have a bit of soil if I need to, 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 you know, pillar up or something. I have an extra knife that I don't need. Let's put that knife away. I must have found that in the ruins. Oh, and by the way, it would seem... I don't know if any of you caught this. I've, I've only just made the second episode. I haven't even released the second episode yet as I'm recording this. I'm excited. Uh, somewhere I got more storage space. Probably from one of the, the loot vessels that we broke. Uh, so now I have more inventory, which is spectacular. Um, Alright, I'm gonna head around the lake here and just like straight northwest and I'll check back in with you folks when I find something interesting. Oh wow. Oh it's beautiful. I love it when we get to a point where like several different biomes connect to each other. We've got the black with the uh, some basalt I suppose. We got granite over here. Oh we have hyenas. Oh I haven't seen hyenas. Hyenas would be an animal that would be good to hunt for leather eventually. I think that's the first animal we've seen that we could actually get leather from. I need to remember that. In fact, let's, uh... I don't usually mark animals, but since animals are so scarce in this world, I guess I'll, I'll make it blue. Hyenas. I have found some other, uh, things along the way. Folks, I've come. Here's home here. So I found, uh, basically I found a whole bunch of lignite, uh, some lead, more lignite, some copper there, and some lead there. And, uh, I do see... <gasps> Oh, that's a trader up there. 
I don't want to mess with the hyenas because I have not, I am on version 1.11.6. Version 1.11.7 is now out and it fixes a bug where hyenas will attack you even in passive mode. So I don't want to mess with the hyenas right now, I don't have a weapon. I could outrun them, I suppose, but I would rather just uh, keep my distance. It seems reasonable. I'm not too upset the hyenas will attack me if I get too close, but I do want to kind of avoid them, so let's just take the long way around. Uh, I see some rocks right here. Are these important rocks? Are these useful rocks? Or are they just regular old rocks? These are regular old rocks. Okay, we'll leave those there. Uh, I did see some ruins over to the west as well on the map, but I want to check out that trader. Traders, I think, could be very important for us here, and I don't know... I, I would have to find some gears first, because that's the currency which you use to trade. I have not found any gears yet. I'll probably have to go caving, uh, go into some of the underground... Uh, ruins to find some gears. I don't think you usually find them in the above ground ones unless they're maybe um, in a basement. Basement usually has some better quality loot. Um, but we can at least go and check it out. Come on, let me up. <laughs> I'm tired. It's hot. What do you want from me? Let's go check out what kind of trader this is, what they have for sale. And, oh goodness. We, uh, oh, oh. Oof, yes, did it. There's a trader, I see it. This is very uneven terrain right here. There we go. A lot more trees in the distance. Let's go and talk to this person. I am curious how the traders survive, you know? Do they just have like a huge stash of food? And if so, where did they get it? Is there some distant place that I'm not aware of? Where there's just green fields as far as the eye can see and food everywhere. Hello! Shift! What do you sell? You sell treasure, which is usually pretty useless. Uh, you do buy bread, red meat, you buy wolf pups. I don't think I'm going to be able to get one of those for you, friend. Tools that I would never be able to make, so okay. Um, well, well, we will... We will waypoint add yellow treasure hunter. We'll mark you down. I, I did put a typo in there, but that's fine. I'm, I'm all right with it. I've made my peace with it. Uh, was there something else in this area that I can go take a look at? I feel like I saw... Oh, this is directly west of those ruins that I found last time. I felt like I saw some ruins in the distance. But now I'm not sure where they were. I know there were some to the west. There. Doesn't that look like ruins? Let's go take a peek. It could be. It could be made out of a type of stone that doesn't show up in the map. I can smell the ruins on the breeze, folks. I can smell them on the wind. We get copper. I'm not going to mark down copper this far away from the base. I think we're good on copper for now. Copper is really very common. Yeah, that does look like a ruin. That does look like a ruin, though. Let's go check it out. Let's go see if we can get some seeds. I could really use some better seeds. Maybe some grain seeds. Grain is good because it keeps for a long time. Uh, as long as you don't cook it. It keeps for a long time in its raw form. It can be cooked into porridge, which you can use to get saturation, better saturation out of fruit. Because without bees and honey, that's the only way to get good saturation out of fruit. And uh, it can be made into braid, bread, which is a good trade good. I recognize this ruin. There'll be a, a vessel over here. Tool vessel. What we got? Anything good? Not really. I picked up a skull, by the way. Oh, and I found some more bushes and some more of the lignite. Some stone axes. I suppose I'll take them. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. And then in here, we've got farming vessel, which could have seeds! No. No seeds. Just some cattails, which is very useless. Well, thanks a lot. We got down here. Creep up. Creep up. I don't see any ruins underground. I, I am gonna need to go caving. There's no question about that. Caving is where I'm gonna find the actually valuable stuff underground. But it's not common, so it's gonna be a lot of work. Oh, there's grass up here. It's, it's taking me quite a ways away from home, but I am curious about any grassy areas. Heck it, let's go. Let's go. Let's head, let's head northwest. All right, we got some greenery here. We got some greenery. Do we have anything of use here in this little green area? I don't see any fairy bushes. Alas, I don't see any berry bushes, which would be very useful to bring back home. I don't see any plants. So this is a little bit of a disappointment here. We got anything up over the other side of this ridge? Uh, mayhaps? Oh no, this isn't even a ridge, this is just the end. Alright, oh well. Check the map, is there any more greenery? Eee! Oh! Oh, we do have quite a bit more greenery, okay. 
Oh goodness, we found another oasis, my friends. We do appear to have found another oasis. It's much prettier than the one where we live. We got obsidian. Obsidian, that black glassy rock. Very beautiful. Very sharp. Don't cut your fingers on it. It's very easy to do. Um, so maybe we'll find... Oh yeah, look at that! There's flowers and everything! I still don't see any berry bushes. So this is still uh, not a livable place. It's a very beautiful place. This is very beautiful. However, nothing edible here. We'll follow it over. I, I definitely saw on the map. It does feel a little bit cheaty, I'll be honest. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious! This there's a lot. This is gonna take this is gonna take a lot of exploring. Um, you know what, my friends? I think we're probably coming up on the end of the video here. Probably running out of time at this point. So maybe the best thing to do would be to end it here. Say say our goodbyes. And then in the next episode. We can go and explore this new, very large area. Mm. I always like to peek. I never see anything. It's always kind of just out of view. Oh, there are berry bushes here. I'm going to grab these. Uh, it seems like we've got quite a lot of area to explore here. Can we reach the end? No, it's, this is this is a big one. Um, and I even see more green over this way. Oh, I should have I headed further north before I settled down, I guess. I guess so. Because it looks like we got... Quite a lot of area to explore here. My my biggest hope is that we will find some plants like growing in the ground that I can actually harvest like, some some grains. Look at all these beautiful flowers. I'm gonna put a waypoint down. This is a point of interest. Flower. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> flowers. There we are. Um, yeah. There is, this, this world is not quite as deserted, to be honest, not quite as deserted as I'd hoped that it would be. I wanted, when I made this world, I wanted it to be a challenge. On the other hand, I also wanted it to be possible to survive. So if I set the, the, uh, humidity any lower, um, it would have been basically impossible to survive, right? If it was, if it was any drier, then there would be... Nothing to eat. There would be no hyenas, there would be no hares, there would be no animals of any sort, and we would just starve to death pretty quickly. Um, so this was, after all the experimentations that I did, this was the, the setting where if you, if you explore a bit, you will find some green areas, but they're small, and there's not a lot of food in them. I hope that I didn't get a world that has too much green in it. Because then, you know, the challenge goes away. And I was enjoying the challenge. I mean, we've got a lot of berries now. This is a lot of berries that we now have. Well, anyway, um, there's still, it seems, quite a lot to- Oh, goodness. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to explore all this in one trip even, although I do have all these berries. And now is the time, right, before all the monsters start to appear. All right, I am going to- I'm going to call it here. Let's, um, let's, uh, <laughs> I still got my torch in my hand. Um... Yeah, I'm going to call it here, and we'll do some more exploration in the next video. If you have any thoughts, tips, ideas, suggestions, requests for where you want me to go exactly and what you want me to do, leave them in the comments. Uh, to be fair, I will probably record the next episode before I post this one, <laughs> so I may not see your comments in time, but I'll, I'll read them anyway, and we'll incorporate them in some way. Um, but that's going to be all for this time. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye! I've got sand in my sandals, I've got sand in my hair, I've got sand in my pockets, sand in my under- Ah, 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 sand in my eye, sand in my eye, ah, ah, cut, 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 cut!